Alex in Canton, Ohio, writes to me and he says, you use the term phantom center channel. And that made me think, why isn't there a center channel? Home theater systems have been doing it for years. Surely we could have a better soundstage if we had three, four, or even five speakers in a row. But even the most outrageously expensive systems only have two, which is why we call it two-channel audio. Is it a limitation of vinyl? Is there no multi-channel hi-fi music because no one has multi-channel hi-fi systems because there's no multi-channel hi-fi music? Or is it there's some sonic reason we've been rocking two speakers for this long? Well, that's a, a great question, and there's so much history here that, oh boy, it's hard to answer in a three or four or five minute video. Certainly, it all started out with two channels because there was no way to support three. And stereo was hard enough. You remember way back when records began, it was all monophonic. Then they came up with the way of having the, the needle do a couple of things up and down, sideways, you know, all the stuff that makes the stereo work in a single groove. And at one point, they even came up with a way to do quadraphonic, which kind of worked, but it, and, and they use different phase relationships. So it is possible to get like four channels out of a vinyl record. Not very good, but it's, it's possible. So yeah, two channel stereo is a result of limitations in technology. And we've kind of stuck with it all this time. And of course, to your point, there's not a whole lot of music out there that is recorded in, in multi-channel stereo. Movies are, but typically surround sound is not really a way to record. Octave Records are record label. We have a beautiful Pyramix DSD system that is not only capable of surround sound and making these amazing recordings, but it's the premier system for, for making such things. I mean, they, they've got spatial engines in there and you, you can take, let's say you have a five channel mix, you can take it and, and in space, you can make these objects move. And I mean, it's extraordinary. And I would love to start making surround sound because I love surround sound. When you go upstairs to Gus Guinness's surround sound area, he'll play you surround sound pieces and he's got a complete seven channel something or other system up there. And it's hard for me to go back and listen to two channel audio after I hear that. It is so superior to two channel audio. It's just stunning. But we're in this trap where we get wonderful sound with two channel audio. But there isn't any music, really, to play. And most people don't want to put up with a whole bunch of speakers, a forest full of speakers in their listening rooms. And look at what's now happened. E even two-channel audio is going a little bit by the wayside in favor of people being a little bit lazy, saying, eh, smart speaker's good enough. I'm going to stick it over here, it's this box, I don't know, plug it in, it works. We, you know, we're just, we have sound bars that make sort of surround sound. Uh, it's just, I think it may be too late, but gosh, I wish at some point we could have gone over. We started to when Quadraphonic came out, and then it went to home theater, and anyway, yeah, I love the idea of surround sound. And if I had a magic wand, that's what we'd be doing. Okay? Thanks.